Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, as I mentioned in my last video, I'm gonna do a little review and demonstration of the gyro cut. If you haven't heard about this yet, it is a tool that you can use. It has a little blade and you can use it to kiss cut your stickers if you don't have a silhouette or a Cricut. Is that what it's called? I think so. <laughs> um, to print your stickers at home and then be able to cut them yourself without having to cut through the actual sticker paper entirely and have a million little pieces. So I picked this up, this up on Amazon. Um, ooh, how much was this? That's a great question. I want to say it was between 14 and 20 pounds, which could be, actually I think it was 12 pounds. I'm going to put a little note on the screen of how much this actually cost, but I'm pretty sure it was around 12 pounds. You can also get it in the States really easily off of Amazon as well. So um, yeah, I've been playing around with this for a few days and I'm happy to show you what it's all about. So here are the sticker pages I am going to be working with today. Both of these are by the Etsy store. I love to print and two is the actual number two. Um, I'll link them below. I love their printable stickers. They're some of the best printable stickers I've seen on Etsy and they're very affordable and the quality of the prints are really good. Um, I bought some cheaper, when I was first trying stickers, I bought some cheaper downloads and the image quality just wasn't very good. So when I printed it, it was streaky and I thought it was my printer. But I tried again and I bought um, some prints from this Etsy shop as well as another. And I really, really love um, the quality of I thought this would be a good thing to demonstrate with because we have some straight edges and then we also have some deco and I think and then these kind of weekend banners which I think would be a good to show good to show you um what this is good for and what this maybe isn't as good for from my experience so it's gonna come with a little red safety cap and you can just take it off I've managed to like not lose that so that's shocking um and then you'll see that one of these edge um let me try to cover that one of the edges is pointed up a little so you want to make sure that wherever you start that edge is pointed up and there is a little it's really easy to grasp so that's good so I'm going to go ahead and start not with these scales I thought maybe this might be a good thing to demonstrate on but we'll see if we need it we might not even need it so I'm going to start on with a deco. The deco is what I really prefer to use this for. Things where you don't need like a very tight um, line around it. You can just kind of go and if you have some white space that's kind of how they would come anyways in a kit. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I use this. So you can just start however you like to start it. I for some reason like to start on the left side and go around. Down and start going around and you can see that it's a very smooth um, freedom of movement which I like and it does take some practice um, to kind of get to know how much pressure you need to use and I don't always get it like perfectly where the beginning matches up with the um, the beginning matches up with the end of where I cut it but you can see here um, where I've cut this guy and then you have to kind of finagle how much pressure you want to use because if you press really really hard you are going to cut through all of the paper but if you don't press hard enough then it's hard to peel like here you see how I'm like struggling to peel it up and that's because I haven't pressed hard enough so what I'll do is I'll just go back over it And I'll kind of follow that line and try to cut it again so that I can peel it up and use it. So see, this is the problem you run into. See how I'm like, I peeled up some of the sticker and I have some of the paper left behind. But as you can see, I don't think that's, you can't even actually tell on the sticker. And like I said, I've only probably been using this for, um, a few days so I'm not an expert but I mean 
when you're talking about deco, it's still a whole lot easier to use this tool than it is to use scissors, I think. So then when we go to say like this weekend banner, for instance, if you're somebody that wants to be like tight, tight, tight onto the shape of it, um, with like very little white showing, this might not be the best tool or you'll, or you'll just need to practice a lot more with it. But I think it's fine to just again, use the pointed, pointed end up and then just kind of go around and then pivot around. And like I said, it's not gonna be perfect. And then if you wanna point, you kind of need to stop, pivot, and then go up. Stop, pivot, and then go down. As it does take some finagling to kind of get it the way that you may want it. And then down again. So, let's see if I cut that deep enough this time. This edge looks good. See, you're probably going to need to like rip it up a little. But there you go. Once you get it. It's fine. You might be like, do you really need to pull on that sticker sheet so much? Apparently I do to get the rest of these up. Okay, boom. So as you can see again, I didn't do a perfect job. There's some paper left be Oops, you can't see that. There's some paper bits left behind. But even so, you can't really tell once you get the sticker off. And yes, that's not perfectly done, obviously, but that's good enough for me. <laughs> Some of you watching this are probably like, you have low standards. <laughs> but <laughs> um, if you want to be, you can take your time, absolutely. Take your time, and I'll show you with um, the this one right here how if I really take my time which I'm not so good at doing and across and around to there so let's see that's what it looks like if we can get this one off easily This video is such a fail. I'm gonna be shocked if this ends up on my YouTube channel. There we go. <laughs> Guys, maybe I'm just not very good at this and you shouldn't watch this video. <laughs> I'm sorry, I find this hilarious that I'm struggling so hard with this. But there's that one. And I think that looks good. I mean, it took me a minute to get it off the sticker sheet. I struggled, but um, I think that looks good. I mean, I'm okay with that. So now, the one thing I will say about this um, from my personal experience, and as you've seen, I'm not an expert. Um, if you're trying to cut out straight stuff, so like deco boxes, like these, these guys, to me, it's just easier for, you, for me to use my paper trimmer or scissors because the only way that you can really do it and get it straight, because I don't know, unless you're a freaking surgeon and you can freehand a straight line, you're going to need a ruler and then you're going to have to get your ruler out and, you know, get in there and cut it that way. So, like, I'll show you. Go ahead and make sure my point hands up and then I'll just go ahead and draw a line down. Which, I mean, this might be better for some of you, you know? If you like to carry a bunch of stickers around and you want to be able to have your boxes with you instead of having them cut apart in little pieces or cut them, cutting them apart with scissors, you know, this might not be that big of a deal to you that you need to, um, you know, get your ruler out and really sort of get intense with your lines here. Oops, don't even know what happened there. Okay, and then I can cut. I'm not even gonna bother doing that, but okay, so now, see, that's better. And then I could trim that little tiny piece off too. 
So if you want to use a ruler, I would say that's the best way to use this on straight lines. Um, and then it works out really well. And as you can see here, um, it didn't cut through the paper or anything. It's still solid. So that is um, my suggestions for things with straight lines like, like these or this guy. Now, if you're cutting out check little itty bitty skinny things, like these check boxes with the little tiny um, like flag bit at the bottom, those are, in my experience, pretty hard to get. The best way I have found to do them is to, again, use your ruler and go straight down on both sides. And like, as you can see here, I do it in a row. And then I'll get the tops. And then I'll just need to cut this bottom bit. So you could actually, you could absolutely go in with your ruler again and get this little tiny bit if you don't want to freehand it and if you want it to be perfect, perfect, perfect. Now let's see, did I succeed? Did I succeed? Oops. I thought I cut down there. Oh, well there's that. So I did a good job there. There's that piece. So finally, we'll cut down this side. Then we got a little checklist, look. See, straight lines I can do. See, so just get in there with your ruler and go to town. And like some other reviews I've seen have said, if you are somebody who likes tedious tasks and I know tedious is used in like a negative way but I'm one of those people when I volunteered and you know um even in everyday life or when I worked and somebody was like can you just stuff these envelopes for the next three hours I would be like absolutely I can do that I love stuff like that um so if you want to put on a podcast listen to a book on tape watch a movie watch some tv and just go to town on these i think that would be totally doable and enjoyable if you're anything like me and like with these you could even get your ruler out if you really wanted to and go crazy but the deco i think is just fine being free-handed as long as you're not particular about how much white space you have on that sticker so that is my not so short review of the gyro cut and a little bit of a demonstration you know it was a fail it was slightly a fail but I think you know we've all been there and this is real life I mean I'm just a human person trying to figure it out so I hope that was helpful to you helpful to figure out whether or not it's something you would want to invest in it's not you know super expensive but um I think it's a useful tool to have on hand because you can even cut out so this is cardstock that I used here and I know I'm like trying to end this video but if you press pretty hard like you can get come on some interesting shapes out of cardstock so as you can see here that's like almost all the way cut out you just have to press pretty hard and you know there's I just free handed a teardrop or something I don't know but it's not just for stickers. If you are a paper crafter, if you make cards, if you scrapbook, and if you want to take a print, like for instance on here, this is a traveler's notebook insert. If I want to take this print and I wanted to get just one single tree, I could do that with this. So it's a useful thing to look into. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you laughed along with me and this makes you a little bit less intimidated to try something new. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.